Greetings to the Church of God. And what a delight it is to be able to greet and salute you another time, especially this Easter time. The Apostle Paul reminded the Corinthians, and by extension, the entire church, that it is by this gospel that we are saved, if we hold firmly to the word preached. He strongly contended, otherwise you have believed in vain, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 2. He further informed that what he received, he passed on to them as of first importance. This is of primary importance to the Church of God today. The entire gospel of our redemption, culminating in the glorious resurrection of our great Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who died but rose again from the dead on the third day, becoming the guarantee of the resurrection of all of God's redeemed people, according to 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 13 and 14. Therefore today, I rejoice as I remind the church that this present age in which we live is Easter time for the church. Easter is not just March the 30th. Easter for us begins with the glorious resurrection of our Redeemer and ends with the resurrection of the redeemed. It is believed that we live between two Easter's. In the power of the first Easter, we go to meet the last Easter. It is further believed and stated that the resurrection of the head guarantees the resurrection of the body. Because he lives, we too shall live. Thank you, Lord. It is with great diligence, we note, and are reminded so powerfully that the church is not a funeral society. We are people of the resurrected, ascended Lord of glory. Now, instead of just weeping and mourning at funerals uh, for the believers, we also rejoice knowing what the message of our gospel declares. In a great note of praise and positivity, the Apostle Peter declares, Blessed be God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3 to 5. As sincere followers of the Lamb, we greatly rejoice, declaring again, He is risen. That is our message, that is our belief today. He is risen from the dead, and He is Lord. He lives within us and he resides with his body. He is alive in us today. God bless you today as you go forth in the power of this message, the message of the risen lamb. Happy Easter to you. God bless you. God bless all the saints today as we worship him in the most exuberant way, form and fashion. God bless you.